Hello again fellow collectors. So today we're going to take a look at the Lamborghini Diablo SV. I believe this is a special edition 35. But let's take a look at the box here first. This is from Lambo collection number 4. If 500, <coughs> 500 yen is like $5. And this is from 2012. If you want to uh, pause the video, there are the other cars and colors in this collection. Alright. So it came in this blister pack. It had this card here, so let's see if we can decipher some of this. This is an, it says 1999, which is the year of the facelift. The original SV came out in 1995, and it was actually the base model of the Diablo range. It was only rear-wheel drive. It didn't have all-wheel drive like the VTs, but it actually had more power. But anyways, uh, I guess in 1999 they had a replacement of the headlights. Before it had pop-up headlights. And now they actually have headlights from a 300ZX. I never knew that. Quite interesting. Uh, they bumped the engine power up to 530 horsepower in uh, 1999. And then the SE35 is a limited production, you know, to commemorate the 35th anniversary of uh, Lamborghini. And only nine of these cars were ever made. Okay, so it came on this base. I took it off already. And now let's take a look at these photos. There's really little information on this SE35. All I know is it has this bull on the side and that's what we're looking at here. So, sorry. I just, there we go. There. Alright, so yeah, you can kind of pause or whatever if you want. Let's take a look at this more side view. Got the yellowish wheels. Alright, sculptural mirrors. The bull on the side. And that's the only rear view I could find. So it's definitely quite different from a normal Diablo. The wide wing base on this thing. Alright, let's take a look, closer look here with the dental pick. So it's just a regular yellow, it seems. It's not a metallic or anything like that. And then, uh, Kyosha does tampo prints in most cases, so this is nice. You know, it's not going to fall off like a decal would. These older tires, they have some curvature to the sidewalls. The yellow in the middle is pretty well painted, and then it seems to have a chrome plastic rim on it. And there's a couple of lug nut details in there, and a little recess for the... I don't know, I guess it's not a center cap, it's just maybe the axle or something. Or I guess they would have an axle cover. It's black on the real photographs. Uh, it doesn't really want to roll. This front end, there's a lot of friction going on. The tires do feel very hard. The, the rubber as well. Okay, so it just says Diablo SV, but it doesn't say SE35. But this is uh, based on the graphics, I think this is an SE35. Alright, so yeah, quite interesting that these are the 300ZX uh, headlights. I never knew that. But if you really look at them, it, it, that's, they do look like 300Z headlights. Alright, so I need some orange paint here in the this markers here, some black here, black here, some... That actually goes in quite a bit, that uh, vent there. And it looks like there's a little bit of silver. Maybe there's these are like fog lights or something on the real car. I mean, I see pictures of... Yeah, I think they must be fog lights. Okay. Uh, these vents, yeah, they're not very deep or anything like that. There's no black paint either. The paint here is definitely going bad some sort of you know paint rash which is pretty common with Kyosha sadly uh, let's see we got a raised and painted black crazy double set of wiper blades that's an interesting wiper blade setup I've never seen anything like it all right so these mirrors seem to be separate pieces they're pretty well done I mean look how thin they are right they're sticking out quite a bit and then on the top we have a uh, these roof vent, roof uh, scoops here with some black paint. They're just flat casting, but the paint makes them, you know, look like they're open. And I guess those must snorkel the air into the uh, engine area. Oh boy, look at that! That's a big, uh, I guess, a bubble. I suppose in the paint, or maybe the casting has a bubble. Hmm. And then maybe these are passive vents to suck air out of the engine area. There's a Lamborghini printed on there. I'm not sure if the real Lambo has a window or not. Okay. So on this wing, it's got some printing here. 
Automobili, Lamborghini. Okay, seems all right. It's a little crooked though. No, it's not so all right. It's definitely crooked. Okay, well, you know what? No, for a second I thought it was a metallic yellow. But no, I, I retract that. I think maybe it is. And in certain lights, actually, I do feel like there's a tiny bit of speckling in this uh, paint. So it actually might be a metallic yellow. Yeah, maybe it is. It's just a really fine metallic. It's hard to tell. You'll see this black painting on the molded uh, window molding there. The wheels on this side seem all right. Oh, look at that. There's a little black paint in the vent here behind the door. So that's a nice touch. Okay. Going around to the back here, this rear wing. It's nice to see some air passing through it. It's a little thick though. Okay, so we got the plastic tail lights, and it does look like this is orange and that's red, so that's pretty nice. Different colors. The Lambo Bull SV. We got four chromed plastic exhaust tips with a tiny bit of depth in the middle. But I don't, there's no black paint. In certain light, it looks like it's dark in there, but they actually are just all chrome, you can see there, right? There's some red painted here, probably for the reflectors. And these are some sort of vents or something. Probably sucking hot air out of the uh, engine bay. I see this black up here on the real photograph. Uh, license plate probably belongs there, but none by Kyosho. Okay, and this press fit together. So being a 2012 model, I guess that's just what they did. Oh yeah, the tires are very staggered. They look very old, classic, the, the treads. They look like treads from like the 60s. But, uh, well can't change it all right so that's it uh, you know it's a 2012 model so it's got a bunch of paint bubbling and so if you're gonna collect old Kyoshos you better get used to that I would say the majority of the time old Kyoshos have paint problems but I'm actually it doesn't bother me so much because I mean the thing cost five dollars when it was new so I think it blows away most other $5 models, even by today's standards. I think this is better than a green light. It's better than an auto world. It's better, way better than an M2 machine. So that's why I'm okay with buying these uh, older Kyoshos. All right, let's take a look at a couple other Lambos then, compared to, I have a bunch of other Kyoshos. Get the spin thing, sorry. meat so in fact let me so I think we should probably pull out a Countach I have a red one it's a uh, LP 5000 S so that's by Kyosho as well and then I guess the successor would be the Murcielago and so this is also by Kyosho it's a green one So they all have plastic headlights, taillights, rubbery tires, uh, the OEM wheels, so it's not bad. But you can see, you know, the big jump in size from the Countach to the Diablo, the width of the rear. <coughs> okay. So that's us. Previous and the post uh, generations. But I actually do have three other Diablos here. So this red one is the very first Diablo, and again, this is by Kyosho. This next one is a Diablo SV. I'm guessing it's probably the earlier generation SV. But I might be totally wrong, so I apologize. And then this last one is called the Team J-Lock, or Japanese Lamborghini Owners Club. Basically, it's a race car. Alright, so let's let those spin around. And we'll go to the top view. So yeah, the J-Lock having a more race-oriented uh, bodywork. It's longer and wider. Alright, well, if you like Lamborghinis, and you like Diablos, Kyosha is a pretty good brand to get into. They do, you know, the more random ones, like, even the labeling has no mention that this is the SE35. 
Uh, I'm quite positive it's an SC35 because it has four tailpipes. I don't think the regular Diablo SVs had four tailpipes like that. All right, well, I'm not sure if uh, Kyosho actually makes any other Lamborghini Diablos. If they do, I'll eventually get it, but uh, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they only made these four. But please leave a comment if you know better. All right, guys, I'll see you around. Thanks.